Hello, I am Ting Wei Jing. I am a student from University of Malaya. My group members and I are currently conducting a Sulan community project which aims to teach teachers from primary and secondary school to create a classroom website during this COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, we have prepared four tutorials videos on creating a classroom website using WIS. What is WIS? WIS is an online platform that you can use to create and design a free website. And in this video, I am going to teach you how to create a WIS account using your Facebook account and your Gmail account, as well as give a brief guide on using WIS editor. To learn more about WIS, let's jump into tutorial video. The first step I will show is how to create a WIS account using your Facebook account. Go to google.com, search for WIS WIS. Then click the result showing WIS.com. Click the sign in button. Click continue with Facebook. Enter the email address and the password of your Facebook account. After that, click Login. Click Continue As. You have created a WIS account successfully. Now, I will show you how to create a WIS account using your Gmail account. Click Sign In button. Click Continue with Google. Enter your Gmail address. After that, enter your Gmail password. Click Next. Once you have created a WIS account, click Skip on the bottom right corner. Then, click Choose a Template. Since our target is to create a classroom website, therefore, go to Community and select Classes and Courses. Now, you will see there are a lot of design templates. But for this tutorial video, I encourage you to choose this online lessons template. Click Edit. Wait for a few minutes. After that, you will see this with editor. Click Start Now. Now, I would like to introduce some important functions available for this with editor. First of all, what you all see now, the images, the text, and all the arrangement of design in this page is called home page. So what is home page? Home page is a page that whenever you go to a website, the first web page that shown now is a home page. Next, go to here. You will see page home. Click it, then it will show you a list of web pages that have prepared for you. For example, you can click about, then it will direct you to about page. If you want to go back to home page, just click it again, choose home. Beside this, there are two icons here, desktop and switch to mobile. When you click this icon, it will change your home page view into mobile view. So, this is the design of your homepage when someone visits your website. Okay, let's go back to desktop view by clicking this icon. 
Then go to here. There is an icon called Zoom Out and Reorder. When you click it, it will zoom out and you can scroll down to take an overview of your page. If you want to go back, just click Exit Zoom Out. Apart from that, there are two icons here, Undo and Redo. I guess you already know what are Undo and Redo. Moving to the next icon, the Save icon. Please click this icon to save your website design progress. Then it will pop out a small window. As you can see, this is the URL or your website link. Basically, it is made out of your username of this account .com. And after that, the behind part of this URL can be changed. Just need to click here. Then you can change whatever name you want. For example, classroom. Then click save and continue. Next, there is a function called preview. So this function is just to let you preview your website. Click here to go back to editor. Then, there is a publish button. You can click it. It will help you to publish your website so that other people can visit your website. You can click view site. It will direct you to your website. Okay. Let's close it, go back, and click Done. Now, at your left side, you will see there are so many buttons here, but I will only introduce some important buttons for this video. The first one is Pages. When you click it, it will show all the pages for your website and let you to manage them. Then for the second one is the background button. At here, you can select any of these images to change the background of your homepage. For the third button, it can let you add many design elements such as text, image, button, and so on. Don't worry about it. I will introduce some of these elements in the future videos. Actually, there are a few more buttons here, but they are not so important for now, so I will skip them first. Now, let's focus on the right side. This is called Toolbar. To use this toolbar, you need to click any elements on this homepage. For example, let me click this button. Then go back to Toolbar. This is the Copy button. If you want to copy this element, just click this. And when you want to paste it, you just need to click Paste button. And there is also another button called Duplicate. The function is actually similar to Copy and Paste. When you click it, it will help you to copy and paste this element in one action. If you want to delete these two elements, select it. Click this delete button. Again, select it. Click delete. Next, select back to this element. If you want to rotate this element, you can go to here. Let's say I want to rotate 45 degrees. Hit enter. Then, this element is rotated by 45 degrees. To undo the rotation, click here, Undo. You can also change the size of this element by going to here. Under Size section, then you can change the values. W is the width. While H is the height. Hit enter. 
Now you can see the size of this element is changed. Let's undo it. You can also change the position of this element by simply changing the value here. S and Y. Then you will see the position of this button has changed. Click undo to go back to its original position. That's all for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to design a simple homepage for your classroom website. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.